Hey there beautifuls, welcome back to my channel. I have another shopping haul video for you finally, or grocery haul, shopping haul, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm pregnant so for a very long time I wasn't feeling it, blah blah. But I'm definitely back in the groove again. I've definitely, I've done cash stuffing videos, budgeting videos. So I thought I'm getting my ass to shop today, why not try and do the shopping haul video. And by the way, if you can hear my cats in the background, they are going absolutely apeshit right now. So just ignore them. I'm going to. So uh, I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to go from left to right all the way around my kitchen and just show you what I've got. And then if I can remember, go through some meal ideas that I've got for the next two weeks. We go shopping every two weeks and we spend, well, we have a budget of £115 for two weeks. This includes all the snacks, all the work lunches, um, all that kind of jazz um top ups or things like that so start off with this we got a six pint milk we have cheese strings for lunches to just grab and take with us um emmental cheese which is similar to the Lairdama cheese which is the proper branded one um my husband really likes that cheese so i'll get that bavarian style ham which we use for the slimming world cabanaro recipe um and i'll show you another thing that belongs to that um honey roast ham wafer thin for the i'm not quite sure what you call them but like ham egg cups stimming world style with chopped up onions and mushrooms and stuff like that my husband absolutely loves them and obviously i'm going to try go back onto stimming world i'm just going to transition really slowly it's not going to be a full-on thing um i mean if it becomes a full-on thing god thank you very much but any little helps at the moment being pregnant so i have 500 grams of lean mints um i usually quarter these because People tend to overuse mints and think, oh, it looks so little, we need so much, but you really, really don't. Um, for one lasagna, I would use two quarters because we'll then make, I'll make another lasagna, put it in the fridge and have it the next day. But if it's just one lasagna, or sorry, just me and uh, my husband for one meal, I just use one quarter. And it lasts, honestly, you need to try it. If you feel like you overuse mints, try use less and you'll see exactly what I mean. And it saves money in the long run. So I caught these, put them in the freezer. Um, got my Baby Bell Light cheese from the Healthy Extra A. So I'll be grabbing them. My husband, I'm sure, will as well. Sorry if I'm out of breath, guys. It's pregnancy. <laughs> this is one of the main symptoms I've been having. Um, selection of peppers. Got the little baby ones and the normal ones. Um, for spag ball and lasagna. Aubergine for my lasagna. I like to chop that really small and add that because any vegetable is great. Um, same with the courgettes slash zucchinis, red onion for all the meals really, spring onion, um, salads and um, what do you call it, <laughs> baked potato with tuna, mayo and spring onion, absolutely amazing meal, cucumber for salads, lettuce head for salads, we like the Romanian lettuce, um, I don't know, do you call them lettuce hearts, they're, they're long shaped but they didn't have them so I just got lettuce head, they're fine. Um, Carrot buttons, I've recently discovered them and this amount does last me for every meal that I tend to uh, make in the two weeks budgeting that I do. So I've got them. I've got a pack of brown mushrooms which we absolutely love. Sorry if I'm not in frame. Sometimes I look at the product, not at the camera. <laughs> uh, white mushrooms. I've got two punnets of strawberries because we do have family coming on Sunday. Reason why I'm making a big lasagna and yeah, I'll show you the rest. We've got... Um, Big pack of potatoes because I like to make homemade chips um, for fish and chips. I was going to actually buy cod fillets, fresh ones, and um, you know put breadcrumbs on and put them in the oven. I just have it a bit fresher and cleaner. But do you know what? I just the price. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> the price. It just didn't seem right this time. I don't know why. And I do love cooking from scratch. Don't get me wrong, but something just said nah. Just buy the chip chop ones. Chip shop one, sorry. So yeah, frozen stuffed mozzarella sticks. Um, haven't actually ever had these, but we know they're nice, so I just bought them. We tend to have this as a meal, chili cheese bites are for me. And these mac and cheese kegs, they are absolutely to die for. They're quite expensive. They're £3 or less if on offer, but they are amazing. And they're quite a big size like that. And I can't remember how many you get in them. 12, 13? Two baguette breads for lasagna on Sunday. Um, 
I'm a fatty and my brother-in-law's a fatty. So <laughs> I got the twin pack. Um, tub of butter, the light one. Some sweet clams for my attempt of Slimming World. <laughs> These are to take to work. Salad tomatoes, which are good for sandwiches for work. Um, and other things really, like if you're having lunch at home, any sandwich, that kind of stuff, whatever. Cheese on toast, stuff like that. This primula light cheese is what I put in my carbonara sauce. I don't use the, um, is it cottage cheese or whatever the hell that is? I tried that, that Slimming World recipe, and it is disgusting. Um, so I found this, somebody uses this, and this is also your healthy extra A, the light version. So I use that, mushrooms, ham, a bit of water, well, mushrooms, ham, fry them off, add a bit of water, also onion, red onion, white onion, whatever you want. Um, fry them off nicely, then add a bit of water, let it all sizzle in. Put your pasta on and once your pasta's maybe five minutes from being done, because pasta takes 10, 12 minutes, sometimes 13 minutes simmering. Um, so five minutes from them being done, you add the primula light to your frying pan, heat it up a bit so it's actually bubbling, but you keep stirring it. Once your pasta's done and that's kind of thickened up nicely, it's done. You bang it all together and put it in a bowl. Quick, fast and actually really nice meal. Also, nutmeg, you want to add a lot of nutmeg spice to it. So that gives you that kind of carbonara taste. Um, if anybody wants me to put a link down, please comment down below and I will try and find the link for that recipe so you can actually follow it properly because that was quite quick. So yeah, chopped tomatoes with garlic. I like to do my sauces from scratch. It's lasagna, spag ball, shepherd's pie, whatever. Um, so I've got two of them because I do have two passatas in here. I'll show you my cupboards in a minute. We recently discovered these pizzas from Asda, from the pizza counter. Um, we like the cheese one. I also like the veg one. Really nice. And we had the large one last time, and it's just too much. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant and I can't eat much, but even my husband couldn't eat all of it, and we shared it. So I got the medium one to share, um, and I might bang a few mozzarella sticks in when we have this. So we got a little side as well, in case it's not enough, because this looks tiny compared to the large. 12 medium eggs, which is for the ham and cheese egg cups, if that's what you call them. <laughs> the Slimming World thing. Um, and maybe my husband wants to make an omelette or whatever, I don't know. Chicken stock pots, neither them. Can't remember why. I'll put them on the shop because I'd rather have them than not because I like to make homemade soups. White lasagna sauce. I will not make Slimming World white sauce. It's disgusting, it's horrible, and it curdles sometimes. And it's just disgusting. It's not worth it. I stick to the sauce. Because I don't have it that often, I don't sin it either. Everyone up to their own. Last time I was on Slimming World, I was on it for maybe, I think it was six months and... Within four and a half, five months, I lost five stone because I religiously did Slimming World. I was religious with everything. Even on treat days, I still sinned everything I had and made up for it the week coming, if that makes any sense. So I was always in my sins, even on a treat day. Uh, cheat day, sorry. Treat day, cheat day. <laughs> Same thing. Um, so I know things like that really did not matter because I was so strict and it really worked. So... Once this baby pops out, guys, I am back on it properly, like 100%. Um, super Cedar Sliced Loaf, we tend to go with different breads. Last time it was, um, what was the last time? King's Mill, the normal soft white bread. Uh, we've gone back to the seeded, we like to mix it up so it doesn't get boring for work and, you know, lunches. Selection of crisps that we tend to take to work, one packet a day. Sometimes I don't even eat them. We've got the variety oven baked. I should be having my quavers here, but... They sent a substitute and I didn't like it. My husband loves french fries, very salted. And there was no real other option but what's it for the three for 350 or whatever the deal is. So I just grabbed them. This beauty, never had it before, but because family's coming on Sunday um, and we have a little baby boy, well, my nephew's coming. I got this as a dessert with some strawberries. He absolutely loves strawberries and we all do. So that'd be a real nice dessert. And I got him the 10 flipper dippers to have with chips and carrots to carrot buttons. <coughs> Sorry guys, I do not have COVID. <laughs> um, my husband sometimes likes to just take these to work for lunch and just put puts butter on them, sticks them together, whatever. I really wanted crumpets, got crumpets. Vanilla latte, we love our coffee. Um, we go to Costa quite a lot. So I tend to get a few of these just to stop us from going to Costa because it's nice to just sit at home sometimes and save a bit of money. Um, but we do also have this Krups machine, which is absolutely amazing with the vanilla syrup. Um, and it, honestly, it's so good. Um, and there's loads of chocolate snacks here. Now, they're not all for me, obviously. 
I probably will share these with my husband and the minstrels, but obviously I'll count these as I'm eating or I'll already decide what sins I want to spend or whatever I have that night, whatever. Same with this. These are for me, Caramel Freddos. Uh, pink and white. They do taste different. Last time I had them, I did not like them, but I thought I'd give them a go again because it's been months or even a year now. Digestive biscuits. We like to just have a selection of biscuits in. Clubs to just grab as a snack. My Freddo, normal Freddos. My husband also grabs these sometimes. He loves the chocolate malted milks. I love the German version butter biscuits with chocolate. It's so nice. Caramel wafers just because they're cheap and it's a snack. Mikados. And these three are for my husband. Nature Valley Crunchy Oats and Honey. The Apple Fruit Oat Bakes and the Cheerio. These are so nice. Cheerio Honey Cereal Bars. My husband tends to take one of them. Maybe a little chocolate snack, some crisps, and then a sandwich or whatever. Did I mention the sweeteners? I don't know. We have sweeteners. We don't have sugar. Um, so, yeah, I just needed to get one of them for the month. So, moving over here. Let me just turn the light on, guys. I'm so sorry. Should have been a bit more prepared for this, shouldn't I? It's a long video. It's only 11 minutes, but... Right, my attempt on Slimming World, again. I've got oats already, so obviously I've got the strawberries. Um, I'm wanting to make just normal porridge with almond milk, sweetened almond milk, and then strawberries. Um, yeah, <laughs> self-explanatory, it's not, not about it. I've got um, the sweetener powder, whatever that is, the Asda one. So I sprinkle that on top, and that's what I survived on, my first round on Swimming World, and I lost five stone. So that's what I'm going to do again. Not just for me, I'm going to try and eat a bit more healthy for the baby. Not that I'm that unhealthy anyway, but, you know, you can do little tweaks here and there. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, cans got quite expensive, so I just got a few bottles. But we love our cans to take to work one a day or just have at home. We do work for our money and we do, like, little treats like that. So, like, our coffee sachet is going to cost it and buying cans. Convenience. That's what we do, but we do tend to. And I'll show you my cupboards and my fridge in a minute. We do really just buy what we need. So these little treats, we allow them. That's fine. So we've got Pepsi Max Cherry a bottle. we got this I'm really into at the moment. The Slimline Schweppes Lemonade, which is really, really nice. I cannot tell you how nice this is. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. Do not knock it till you try it. Fanta Zero, absolutely amazing drink. Love it. Cherries and Berry Squash. We ran out of squash. I've been really, really fussy with squashes because they've been giving me heartburn. But there's not much else I can drink. So I've got this again. And I've got my Volvic water sugar free. Which my husband also drinks obviously. We've got the strawberry. And we've got the mango passion. I think three of each. Yes. And then we've got the Pepsi Max lime cans. Because they were £2 something. So that was fine price wise. Um, and he does like them. So. And then we treated ourselves to proper coffee. So the last coffee we had is the Asda's own. Not the smart price. The one above it. But we never actually buy proper, proper coffee. And I thought, let's treat ourselves to proper nice jar of coffee. We don't have to have it all the time, which we don't. You know, when we have something nice, we do really make it last. So I got this. And because I'm pregnant, I got decaf. My husband was completely fine with that because he supports me. So that is everything. I believe we spent all in all, um, I think it was hundred and hundred and five pound, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure, 103, 105 pounds. So we do still have 10, 12 pounds to play with for this next two weeks, you know, for bread, milk, other things, whatever, God knows. But I'm just gonna show you my fridge because obviously I'm gonna have to put all this away real quick. But yeah, it's pretty empty. This is my fridge. This is all we have. These things tend to, they're just staples, aren't they, in the house? Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna, is it gonna, yeah. So gherkins, olives, pickled onion, beetroot, two sauces. I got two desperados in the back. Obviously, I cannot drink that at the moment. We've got three miller yogurts left. Um, we got cheese. Bless these little things. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use these up in something. Um, the tub of butter that we still have. A little bit of Adam, I think it's two slices left. Um, pepperami, we just tend to grab that when we want it and we've just gone off it. So that's why we still have some left. Otherwise, that would be gone right now. Again, normal staples, as you see. These are mine, jalapenos. Um, the baby's absolutely been loving these. Um, 
a few sauces and salad dressing and again the same nothing dramatic just what we need milk and abra to filter water that is all we have obviously we've got pasta up there again we only have what we need and um, if you're struggling with overspending um drop me a message guys honestly it's not a problem at all or just look at your portion sizes and be real with yourself do you know what i mean it's not and i'm not having a dig at people god I, i'm just wanting to help people i figured it out that i'm just spending too much on food we don't need that much food we were wasting food it was ridiculous this is my pantry cupboard and yes, it looks a bit OCD, I'm really sorry. Some people might think, what the fuck? <laughs> sorry, sorry about my language. <laughs> but um, we've got a bit of fruit up there, some baking stuff up there. Um, my kidney beans, sweet corn chickpeas, and my two passatas. Golden syrup, curry ketchup there, if you can just about see the lid, and some bag sauce, that's it up there. you got my curry sauce for the chicken curry, Slimming World chicken curry, beef stock. That is a pudding and custard in there and jelly heart Hartley's jelly sorry now we have is the chunky soup which I think I'm gonna throw away believe it or not because I don't fancy it when I look at it it just makes me want to gag we've got two of these I try to have things behind each other like in a shop we've got two baked beans with sausages which is also for this month um and then we just got general staples egg fried rice two chicken seasonings we've got three couscouses so i'm definitely not buying couscous for a while um two chili con carne sachets two pasta and sauces one parsley sauce again chili con carne peri peri rice tuna and just this that's all we have guys it's not um yeah it's nothing this is just glasses i'm just proving a point we don't have much in we have and eat what we have and that is it so thank you very much for watching guys um oh i was going to show you this because i never showed you this before have i this is our understair storage sorry about the mess it's not it's not that great it's my cleaning and tools and then these three boxes four or five boxes are all like you know sheets painting batteries that kind of crap and then we have our crisps in here, our little snacky box in here. Baking stuff is all in there. This is all our cat food. Um, carrier bags, I think handheld hoover. Um, special cat food down here. And I don't know what's in there. Oh, I think just um, knitting wool. These are all alcohol free guys, but I've really not fancied them. There's not been any gatherings at all with my colleagues or anything so they're still there but that is it we have we tend to have our kitchen roll in here as well and the cat there that is it that is literally it guys so um thank you very much for tuning in again for another video i'm really 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 happy that i did the shopping haul again i really enjoyed it i hope you guys did too i know it's quite long winded this one but i'm having to try to find my feet again with this one so yes if you enjoyed this video, please, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos yet uh, about budgeting, cash stuffing, sinking funds, please go ahead and look at least at one of them and see if you like it. And if you do, you might even get into it. So I will see you next time, guys. And thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.